Less than a week ago, Russian military police established a local HQ in El Bukomal. Recently, the 5th Corps of the Syrian Army, known for its links with the Russian military, created a network of border posts in the area. The move was apparently coordinated with Iranian-backed forces and the Iraqi Popular Mobilization Forces that actively operate in the border area. El Bukamal is located less than 30 kilometers from the town of El Qaim, the stronghold of the Popular Mobilization Forces on the Iraqi side of the border. Pro-Israeli sources claim that the increasing Russian presence in southern Dadi Izo and along the border with Iraq may be a sign of nearing Iranian withdrawal from the region. At the same time, there are no indications that Iranian-backed forces are going to withdraw from al Bukamal anytime soon. The presence of the Russians on the Iraqi-Syrian border is not something new. Russian forces played an important role in anti-ISIS operations in the province, including the liberation of Dadi Izo, El Mayadin, and El Bukamal itself. In fact, the increasing Russian involvement is likely linked with ongoing anti-ISIS operations in the central Syrian desert. Just recently, the ISIS propaganda wing, Amak, claimed that ISIS militants repelled a large attack by the Syrian army on its hideouts in the eastern part of Hama province. Three soldiers were allegedly killed, ten others were injured, and a vehicle was destroyed. Pro-militant sources also confirmed increased Russian airstrikes on terrorist targets in the region. The remaining ISIS threat in the central part of the country also has a negative impact on the situation in the south. Negative processes have been taking place in Kyanaitra and Dara provinces, which remain under the permanent destructive influence of Israel and its special services. Recently, Israeli media and think tanks have started promoting the idea of Israeli intervention into the unstable Syrian south under the pretext of restoring peace and prosperity in this region.